hello you're welcome how to solve this nice exponential equation solution from here what we have here this follows when we have a is to power n minus n this same thing as a is to power n or a is to power n and this here we have it is to power x over 8 square equals to 80 on this side that is yeah this becomes 8 raised to the power of x over 8 square 8 times 8 that's 64 then equals to yeah all right that's 80 over 1 the next step here we cross multiply 8 raised to the power x times 1 same thing as 8 raised to the power of x equals to 80 times 64 then next step here you take the log on both sides and this here we have log a raised to power x equals to log 80 times 64 here the next step here we apply the power of log m when we have log m raised to power p is same thing as p log m that is here yeah, this becomes x log 8 equals to log 80 times 64 and next step here we divide both side by log 8 that is divide this side by log 8 also divide this side by log 8 that is here log 8 cancel each other then we have x equals to log 80 times 64 over log 8 then here this follows the law of log when well, we have log a times b is same thing as log a plus log b that is you can write this as x equals to log 80 plus log 64 over log 8. That is, next step here, we separate this into two fractions. That is, we have x equals to log 80 over log 8 plus log 64 over log 8 that is here also 64 can be written as 8 times 8 that's 8 squared and what we have becomes x equals to log 80 over log 8 plus log 8 squared over log it then here we apply the power of logarithm 2 comes here then what we have becomes x equals to log 80 over log 8 plus 2 log 8 over log 8 that is here log 8 cancel each other that is this becomes x equals to log 80 over log 8 plus 2. Then, next step here, we can write 80 as 8 times 10. Then, what we have here becomes x equals to log 8 times 10 over log 8 plus 2. Then this also follows the law of logarithm, and we have x equals to log 8 plus log 10 over log 8 plus 2. Then here, yeah, we also separate this into two fractions. That is, we have x equals to log 8 over log 8 plus 
log 10 over log 8 plus 2 which implies here log 8 cancelled each other we have one left here and this becomes x equals to 1 plus 2 then plus log 10 over log 8 then here yeah, this becomes x equals to 1 plus 2 that's 3 then plus log 10 over log 8 then also here 10 can be written as 2 times 5 then what we have here becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 times 5 over log 8 that is here yeah. this also follows the log log ring we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 plus log 5 over log 8 then here we separate this into two fractions that is we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 8 plus log 5 over log 8 and also here it can be expressed as 2 times 2 times 2 that's 2 cube then what we have here becomes x equals to 3 plus log 2 over log 2 cube plus log 5 over log 2 cube then also we apply the power of logarithm 3 comes in and also here and we have x equals to 3 plus log 2 over 3 log 2 plus log 5 over 3 log 2 that is from here we have log 2 cancelled each other here yeah? we can write as x equals to 3 plus 1 over 3 then plus here also we can write this as 1 over 3 times log 5 over log 2 then then here yeah, we can write as x equals to 3 plus 1 over 3 write that as 10 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 5 over log 2 then also here we apply change of base when we have log a over log b with the same thing as log a to base b that is here we have x equals to 10 over 3 plus 1 over 3 log 5 base 2 then we bring this together as one fraction and we have x equals to the SM here that's 3 and here we have 10 then plus log 5 base 2 that is the value of x here we have x equals to 10 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3 then let's check here if this satisfies this given problem that is we substitute the value of x here which is x equals to 10 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3 that is all we have here becomes a raised to power 10 plus log 5 base 2 all over 3 minus 2 is it equals to 80 on this side then from here this is 2 over 1 then we can write as 8 raised to power the SM up here that's 3 still have 10 plus log 5 base 2 then minus 6 here is it equals to 80 on this side then here 10 minus 6 that's 4 that's 8 raised to power 4 plus log 5 raised to over 3 
this is equals to 80 on this side and from here we can express it as 2 raised to power 3 which is raised to power 4 plus log 5 raised to all over 3 this is equals to 80 on this side and here this power multiplies 3 here cancelled each other we have 2 raised to power 4 plus log 5 raised to is it equals to 80 on this side? Then this follows the law of indices. What we have a raised to power m plus n. This same thing as a raised to power m times a raised to power n. And this a we have 2 raised to power 4 times 2 raised to power log 5 base 2. Is it equals to 80 on this side? And 2 raised to the power 4 here, 2 multiply itself 4 times, that's 16. Then times this follows on we have a raised to the power log b to base a, which is equals to b. At this here we have 5. This is equals to 80 on this side. And 16 times 5, that's 80, which is equals to 80 from here. At this left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude here that x equals to 10 plus log 5 is 2 all over 3. Satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and turn the notification bell on. Share this video, give it a thumbs up, put your comment. See you next class and bye for now.